How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Tacoma Beast channel where as you all know, it's all about the taco. In today's video, we're gonna go snow wheeling. I'm gonna be hanging out with the C4 fabrication crew. They built a brand new Tacoma. It looks incredible with new rock runner armor. We're gonna send it. We're gonna wheel as hard as we can on this trail. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, my pinky. Ah, that got cold real quick. So guys, it's actually really cold right now. We're feeling 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I can barely talk. There's something about snow camping that I just love. We're gonna sleep here tonight and then tomorrow early in the morning, we're gonna go ahead and hit the trails. It's gonna be awesome. Wes, what are you looking forward to the most, man? Tomorrow we're gonna run some trails. One of them is an eight out of 10. We should be able to get to Tacoma on some super hard lines and see how the armor does. So I'm stoked to do that. Also brought my 80. So I'm excited to wheel it next to the taco and see which one does better. Brian will probably outdrive me, but it'll do good. Joining us is also gonna be Talon Sai. Dude, what are you looking forward to the most tomorrow? Uh, getting back to some warmth. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just here to hang out with the homies. So. I don't get to see you guys very often. And I'm looking forward to this right here. We got fire, we got whiskey, we got quesadillas. That's Steak. all we need, baby. <laughs> like uh -huh. <laughs> Where's that Five. Big score. Yeah, I had to, me and Mateo were both like, we had to pee all night, but there's no chance we're getting outside. Ooh, that feels good. That feels so good. Huh? Dang. How did you guys sleep? So cozy and warm. Thanks to this diesel heater. We can wrap it around. I kept like pointing it towards Brian because I kept getting really hot. I was like, Brian, it's yours. But uh, yeah, it's super warm. nice. Yeah. Here, you feel it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Dude, can you imagine though how bad it would suck to just camp in a regular tent? Like we all had heaters. Oh yeah, just a sleeping bag. Oh, uh, it'd be miserable. <laughs> you want to put a couple of paper towels in that paper plate? Go. You ready for the trails? I'm ready, man. I'm not hungover because I didn't drink like some people. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done eating breakfast. Wes, what's next, man? We're gonna go run some trails. We have some good ones picked out today. Camp 5 trail system has some rocks, ton of rocks. So we're gonna hit armor on every single truck. Me and Brian in the Tacoma and probably the 80 are gonna hit Hal Johns, which is an eight out of 10. So we'll be bouncing back and forth between those two. It's gonna be fun, man. Eight out of 10, let's get it. All right, Wes, you got bead locks. What are you airing down to, man? Um, I'm a little heavier in the rear. I'm going down to 12 in the rear and I'll drop down to like 10 or nine in the front. What are you airing down to, sir? We're gonna go to 15. Mr. Talon Sai, what are you airing down to, sir? Uh, I don't even know. I'm just gonna go for 10 seconds, so. It's like that. That looks good, right? What happened, Mr. Brian? These wipers suck. Yeah, the windshield washer fluid is frozen. So, couldn't clean the windshield. thinking of going through here, are you? Yeah. We're doing it, Mateo. Oh yeah. You're driving, Mateo. Yep. Give me the keys right now. Full send, baby. So yeah, I wish my truck would have made it out here. I have to keep the truck in perfect condition for uh, SEMA, make it look all pretty like we never use it. And then right after SEMA's done, we're gonna go smash some metal. So yeah, this is this section of Hal Johns. If you take a look up there, you'll see just how big these rocks are. This is an old creek bed and we just walked up to take a look at some of the lines and we're gonna do it. It's 
could get a little sketchy if the rocks are super slick, which they are, but I think we'll be good. What do you think, Colin? Which they are. Hey, I'm just here for a good time. I'm gonna opt out. My truck is set up for camping, not for this stuff right here. <laughs> My name is Wes Erickson, I am 33 years old, and I'm sales and marketing director for C4 Fabrication. On the Tacoma specifically, you know, you have the frame horns and you have your cross member that hangs down. On any bumper, you can almost see those like bulky cross member sections hanging down. So our C4 truck, we cut out the factory cross member, we get a new bolt in one, higher clearance skid. The approach angles on that thing are nuts. Um, it's got recessed tow hooks, so we were literally going right up to rock faces and Brian was just popping right up over them, not touching the bumper. It was pretty crazy to see actually. Turn hard, hard. Yep. Ooh, Hell yeah. yeah. Look at that. Okay, now start turning. Passenger. Keep coming. Yep, hold that right there. Okay, now hard passenger. Yep, you're gonna pivot around your slider and then that back passenger tire is gonna start climbing. Straighten. Straighten your wheels. Right there. Yep, now start. Yep. On me now. Turn in. Is his diff hung up? Yep. Yeah. He's, on his, he's on his shock and he's down over here too. Hold on. Turn passenger. There you go. Keep going. Your dip, your diff's gonna push that rock if you keep going. Do it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there you go. You're over it. Turn right there. This is gonna be a tight fit, but driver right there. Driver, driver. Yep, just try to hug the inside of that rock face. Yeah, I would keep keep kind of turning into it as your back comes up. Yeah. There you go, Brian. That's good. Just gotta find the right line. Yeah, and it's slick, it's super slick. Today's video is brought to you by Onyx Off-Road. The reason why we're able to be on this trail today is actually thanks to their app. For less than a tank of gas, $29.99, Onyx Off-Road Premium is your navigation and trail discovery tool in the palm of your hands. It features trails, unlimited save maps, photos, waypoints, 3D maps, and more. The best part is you can use our promo code TacomaBeast to receive 20% off your first year. So whether you're an experienced off-roader or just starting out, Onyx Off-Road has you covered. Hang on. <laughs> He's about to hit his uh, fender flare. Ooh. Looks like it, obviously. I'm not gonna go hit that, am I? Um, <laughs> not as of right now, but. Should I back up? Okay. Yeah, and turn just a little bit passenger. Yep, just like that, perfect. Keep coming. Ooh, that's amazing. Looking good. Right there, hang on. I'm just gonna toss a rock in there. I think that'll do it. Looking good. You can do driver as you kind of come down in. There you go, looking good. You could pick the perfect line, yep. and it doesn't matter. Like, perfect. you know, the second your weight shifts of your rig, throws the whole truck off of the boulder, then you're high centered and then you have to restart. So, you know, some of those lines we were redoing three or four times just because the trucks kept slipping and you can't really do much about it. You just have to like reset, go at it again. I'm good, I got a slider. Watch out, right. Mateo.
turn, Brian. <laughs> All right, so that was basically warm up. This is only the beginning. Wes, what's coming up, dude? And is it gonna get harder? Yeah, it probably will. Um, we're picking good lines. It's just tires are slipping right off these rocks, which makes it a little more challenging. We're getting hung up on diffs and stuff, but we got through that one pretty easily. Um, so got some big rocks here. We're gonna put driver's side tire on and the Tacoma should climb up this. Not having a cross member in the front has been helping Brian out a ton. So oh, it's insane. It's insane to see the clearance that you guys have up there. Our original bumpers, either the Overland or the Hybrid, they're still really high clearance. They're probably some of the higher clearance bumpers on the market where you don't touch the cross member, but you can throw lights in there. They're winch compatible. A little bit more protection, you know, higher bull bars, even the plated one, you can get triple headlight hoops. This is gonna be extremely light. So the front bumper is only like 75 pounds. Um, we have a cross member delete option. So if you really want crazy clearance, this is a great option for you. If you wanna bomb it in the desert, not put a winch on, this is a super good option for you. So I think as people evolve with what they're looking for, this is gonna be a, a great spot for people to land on. Yeah, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, so he got hung up real good in Hal Johns. Um, came right up over this boulder face. And it's so dang snowy, man. We were on perfect lines and then we would slip off. Oh, oh, damn it. That dish can get hung up on that same rock again, huh? And he slipped off right onto his belly. Uh, we were trying to stack rocks to get him forward or backwards. So we got ourselves a situation here, fellas. Brian is hung up on his slider right there. As you guys can see, he's also hanged up on his rear diff and shock mounts in the back. Yep. Now driver. Right there. Driver more. Finally, we got him off of it. Hold that line. Your skid's going to hit. Keep turning, driver. Reposition, and then he crawled right over it. Keep going, keep going. We just ran a pretty long section of Hal Johns in the hills, which is an eight out of 10, some huge boulders. Um, pretty challenging right now because all the snow. We just jumped back onto camp five. We're gonna run a little bit of this trail and then we'll probably jump back onto Hal Johns again, run another section of that, so. So we're all back on the main trail now. You're gonna get to see everybody go through a somewhat technical section, Talon, Jake, they're all gonna be able to have fun. Here comes Jake. Hi, my name is Jake. I'm 36 years old and I do vehicle wraps for a living. Well, I've been wanting a Tacoma since I was four years old. 
uh, after watching Back to the Future. Marty, that dream I had is so real. That was one of my dreams, and as soon as I got mine, I was gonna keep it forever or as long as it, I could. They're all so reliable. Obviously, you can tell from this video. Um, it's just, it just blows my mind, but yeah, dream truck for sure. Been wanting it since I was four years old, so a long time. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, Jake has C4 armor, but he does not have a diff skid, so he's kind of on his drive line. Just bash it pretty good, but it, I think it's okay. <laughs> That's what it's for right there. Okay, <laughs> now you're gonna go past your even more than you did before, so you're tired. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, he cleared it. There it is. Dude, he cleared that with his diff by like <laughs> half of an inch. There you go, that's better. All right, now you're gonna kind of come down in the front. There you go, perfect. Your rear's gonna come Just up. Keep coming this way. Just keep coming straight. There you go. Turn hard into it so your rear hopefully pops up over that. There you go. Hey, that's oh, that's not good. Guys, look at this. Jake's stuck there. He's got himself into a situation. Jake, you boy. got myself stuck between a rock and a, another rock. Yeah, Instead dude. of a hard place, you know? Jake's back <laughs> left bumper was wedged right up against a rock. Um, and he slid off, so where your slider stops and your tire begins in the back, there's some body there and his slider doesn't go back as far as some sliders. So there was a boulder like within an inch from his body. This is why you need a kick out for your sliders because this is what's gonna happen. I'm wedged, I can't go forward because the tires are sliding and I'm wedged between the rock back there. And then the, if I try and reverse, obviously it's just hitting this slider and gonna tear it off or, bump, or uh, yeah, just rip it apart, so. The only good option was Get a winch line on him, turn around, pull him straight forward. All right, so we have our soft shackle hooked up to Wes's uh, ultra hook here, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to pull him over this rock. And luckily he popped up and over it without damaging his body, so. Is he good? Didn't hit that body? Sweet. Jake, you still want to get out and check that cave out? Hell yeah, I'm down to explore any cave. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and explore some caves. I'm not a big fan of being a, under a lot of weight, but let's do it. Dude, this is a cave cave. This is how a scary movie starts. <laughs> oh my god, you guys look so sick. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Here we go. <laughs> I, I'm stoked that Mateo came all the way to the very end of the cave. He kept saying, I'm, I don't do this very often. I'm very uncomfortable in here. So I'm glad he got out of his comfort zone and he did great. So we're probably three-fourths of the way through the main Camp 5 section. We're gonna hit another section of Hal John's up here, put the armor to work, and then we'll be done. Dude, this is a good reset for me. Like, I'm busy at work. At home, I have three little kids, and they love trucks. Like, they'll jump out with me. They love it, but going out wheeling, especially just with friends, is a good time to, like, clear my head, not have to worry about all the stresses of the real world, right? Um, and I love going home to my family, and um, I'm looking forward to that for sure, but anytime I get an opportunity to go out with the boys like this, it's just a blast, so. 
Z4 like really took the step to reinvent the way bumpers have been made for the third gen. And I love that. I love it when they, they get out of line, they're like, okay, we've been doing it this certain way, but let's make another line for it. Most of the time manufacturers are like, cool, we have a bumper line for the Tacoma, let's move on to the Jeep or let's move on to the Bronco. But just seeing C4 be like, no, let's make another line and let's make it better and let's make it do this much more. You know, they have the winch capability in the front while the cross member's off. With all that angle that you get, the truck just looks so aggressive, it looks so nice. I'm honestly really stoked and excited for them and I'm stoked that uh, they had the capability to come up with it. Guys, right when we thought the adventure was over, Brian gets stuck. We're literally, what, a couple miles away from the main road? Even, what yeah. do you think that happened? I don't know if you saw, but it just like got dark all of a sudden, and I think like a cold chill. Obviously, we're it's, it's always hard on camera to see, but we're going uphill. This is definitely a steep grade hill, and with the, obviously the snow and stuff and the ice, it's making it more slick to go up. There goes the Max tracks. <laughs> Okay, try to drive it. So that section Brian got stuck on, it was just because we didn't have any traction. Um, my wheelbase was a little shorter, so I got lucky that my tires just hooked and I was able to go up it, but it was so dang slick, I don't think any Tacoma was gonna make it up that thing, so. Right when you thought you were gonna go home Dude, to we're a so nice... close. If you look at Onyx maps, the main highway is like eight a mile away from there. Look how icy it is, guys. Also, the camera does not do this uh, trail justice right now. It's extremely steep. And with all that ice, the trucks are slipping. It's gonna be interesting to see how Talon and Jake go up. There we go. A little momentum will do it. I'd get up right behind me. There's a flat spot. Hook him up! <laughs> Dude, these winches are all like stuck. They're all fighting you, man. Yeah, I would definitely turn driver. There you go. That's just like straight ice on rocks. <laughs> We're so close. Well, they're bringing out the big boy. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> We're all getting stuck and we are all recovering each other right now. So we have winches, Jake does not. I pulled myself up. I'm gonna connect my winch to the biggest tree we can find up there. We got a dead man rope here. So we're not putting a lot of tension on the bumpers and everything. And hopefully I can kind of bump him up as I winch myself up this icy, snowy stuff. Everybody, we finally got out of the trail. Mateo, thanks for coming in, man. It was fun. Dude, that was a blast. All the trucks had a little bit of armor damage, but nothing too crazy, but we're home free. Dude, thanks for coming out. Thank you for making it happen, dude. If you Absolutely. guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.